Hey everyone, I'm Chase at Rocky Mountain ATVMC giving you a closer look at the billet front brake caliper from Ride Engineer. Alright, so today we're giving you a closer look at this billet front brake caliper coming from Ride Engineering. Now I'm sure most of you out there would agree with me that hands down one of the most important parts that you can have on any dirt bike is going to be your brakes. I don't care how fast you are going, I don't care how much power your bike has, you have to have good brakes in order to slow yourself down. Now the way I look at it, new bikes nowadays, brakes are really, really good. They have a lot of stopping power, which is why I think a lot of riders, myself included, don't give a lot of extra thought or attention to their front brake. But the way I see it is front brake is no different than your bike's engine. It doesn't matter how much power you have in that bike. If it's not a controllable, usable power, it's not going to do you as much good as having a power you can control. And the same goes for your front brake. If your brake has a lot of stopping power, but it's not a stopping power that you can modulate and that you can control, well, it's going to make you a little bit more timid and you're not going to, you're not going to be as fast of a rider. So what this front brake caliper is designed to do from ride engineering is one, yes, it does increase your stopping power, but don't let that scare you because what it does along with that stopping power, it gives a more progressive feel over a longer stroke and just helps the rider modulate the front brake a little bit better. And what I mean by that, and I've been actually using this on my new 2019 KX450 for a while, it just gives a more controllable power. So when you grab that front brake, rather than just being that really firm feel that a lot of brakes have where it's either an off and off or on and off sensation, you can really feel how much power is getting to that front brake so you can control that a little bit better. And when you have a powerful brake that's controllable, well, that is a recipe for lowering your lap times. So we'll talk about what this is constructed of, and then we'll talk about how it helps give that progressive feel over that longer stroke and helps you control the front brake better. So with this caliper from Ride Engineering, it's a billet aluminum. In fact, I have got my stock caliper for my 19KX450 right here. This one's made from cast. So being built aluminum, it's just gonna make it flex less. So by having a body that flexes less, it's gonna help improve the feel and the braking power. But also being billet, what is nice, you'll notice on the back here, is that you have these cooling fins. So with these cooling fins here, it allows that airflow to pass through. We all know that heat is public enemy number one when it comes to any brake. So by having those cooling fins, that will help the front caliper stay cooler. Now, if you're wondering what's the difference between billet and cast, well, a cast is when they take the aluminum, they melt it down, and then they pour it into a cast, a la you have this front brake caliper from my stock, or my stock front caliper. Billet is where they actually just take a solid block of aluminum, and then they carve whatever it is out of that solid block, and that's why they call it billet aluminum. So now let's talk about how you're getting that added performance. So how do you get more stopping power, but also a progressive feel that you can modulate? So Ride Engineering, they did a lot of testing with this, a lot of development. In fact, this caliper has already proven itself. In 2016, 2017, and 2018, an Arena Cross Champion won using this front caliper. So what Ride Engineering found during their testing and development is that finding the right or the ideal size piston diameter on the caliper in regards to the size of the piston that you have on your front master cylinder, having the ratio just right, will give you the feel that you're gonna want with the front brake, or, or at least what they were looking for. I like to think of it this way. If you have a front brake on a bike, you've probably had one before, where you grab the front brake, it's pretty squishy, you gotta really squeeze the heck out of that thing to get enough stopping power, and then maybe hop on a different bike where the front brake, it's really firm, it's a little bit grabby, it makes you a little bit timid to really grab and be aggressive with it because you're afraid to lock up. Well, what they wanted to do is just find the right balance of firmness, but also having that progressive feel. And by finding the right piston diameter, that's what they feel that they were able to achieve. So like I said, I have actually been running this on my 19KX450, and I'll give you a couple thoughts on what I think. When I first put it on, it was definitely softer than the stock front brake that I had. In my opinion, the 19KX, a little bit too firm for me, a little bit grabby, so maybe a little bit timid if I was coming down a straightaway going fast, I wanna get on the brakes. I was afraid I wasn't gonna know when that front brake might lock up, which would cause the front tire to dive or to push. So then I put this on, and initially it felt pretty soft. But after I got used to it, what I found is that I had all the stopping power that I could ever ask for, but I didn't have to squeeze the lever as hard to get that stopping power. And because it's that more progressive feel, what it does, it gives really good feedback from the front, the front brake to the rider's fingertips. So when I ride the bike, I can really feel exactly how much pressure or how much stopping power I have on that front rotor. So it gives me more confidence that I can get on the brakes harder, I can be a little bit more aggressive with my braking, which means I can come into corners faster, I can come down a straightaway faster. And like I said, being more confident, more aggressive with your braking is gonna help you be a better rider that's gonna lower your lap times. So now with this, keep in mind, if you're happy with your brake setup that you have right now, you feel like you have a good feel, plenty of stopping power, then it's something you probably don't need to worry about. 
But for riders that you might not be too happy with the brakes that you have right now, maybe you feel like they're really grabby and you don't like how sensitive they are, or maybe you feel like your brake is squishy and you have to squeeze it too hard to get that feel that you want, then this would be a really good upgrade. Like I said, it's all about having that power, but having it controllable and having a power that you can use and really get a good feedback to the rider's hands. If you guys have any questions about these, you can leave your comments below. We'll help get those answered. I would be more than happy to share some more of my thoughts. In fact, I did write an article review on this. So if you want to get all my thoughts and feedback on it, you can read that article as well. To pick yours up, it is real simple. Just click on the link at the end of this video. Just remember that they are bike specific. So make sure you enter the make, the model, and the year to ensure that you're gonna get one of these that will fit your bike. Remember guys, orders over 75 bucks ship free. If you like this product spotlight, well do not hesitate. Get subscribed to our YouTube channel and that's gonna keep you up to date. I am Chase, we'll see you on the trails.